Hello and welcome to the first episode of Candid Conversation. Today, I have a special guest, Mohammad Reza Ghulami. He is an Iranian filmmaker who has made four documentaries of Indian subjects. He is a director, producer, and cinematographer. He is passionate about Bollywood and India. Professor Abhay Singh will also join us. He has been at Tehran for a long as the director of Swami Vivekanand Cultural Center. He is an expert of Iranian history and culture. Thank you very much for joining us uh, this evening to talk about your journey as a cinematographer, as a filmmaker, you have made two films on Indian personalities while you were staying at Bombay. On Meher Baba and Jalal Ahmed. But before we discuss these films or how you decided them as subject of your film, I would love if you can share your journey. Actually, uh, in uh, 1986, when I was too much young, I came with my family to India and I visit India. Since that time, I'm thinking, okay, I love Indian culture. I like Indian cinema. On that time, I saw uh, Zanji film. I think Amitabha Chan movie in uh, cinema in Delhi. When we came back from uh, India, always I said, uh, oh, I know Hindi and I just, you know, singing uh, with so many mistakes, but I don't know no word, just I singing like la 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 la, like this, and nobody doesn't know Hindi, and just I know Hindi. And nobody, they don't understand which I, which I speak. I, even I speak very false and nobody doesn't know. So since that time, I thinking, okay, I love India. It's happened till 2004. Uh, again, for second time, I came to India, visit India 2004. And for the third time, uh, I came and I stayed in India for six years for a study. 2008, 2014. So the, back to my childhood, when I came to India, I think, oh, I love to be in the film. I, I would like to be a hero like Amitabha Chan, like some actress, uh, actors. So it's good uh, for me. I want to be this in film. It's, it's happening to me on that time. <laughs> so uh, it is the reason I love the, you know, I become the fan of the Bollywood or Indian cinema. After that, day by day, we grow up and we learn more about India, about Indian culture, about Indian cinema. And uh, I improve myself how I should be in this field. So at that time, I choose, okay, I want to play in the movie. I want to play in the role in the movie and I want to be an actor. Little bit I grow up, I understood, oh, it's very difficult to be an actor. Because if you want to be an actor, you should uh, uh, find a producer. You should go to meet so many people. And you have to have so many knowledge. Since that time, I become fan of the Raj Kapoor. I read so many uh, information about uh, Mr. Sri Raj Kapoor. Uh, I wrote, okay, he is a director, he is a writer, he is an actor, he is a producer. I said, okay, I should be someone like Raj Kapoor. So since that time, again, I improved myself. Okay, I want to be in this with, with Raj Kapoor position. I, I should know everything. Uh, in uh, 20 years before, when I was 20, I think, 2021, 20, I attended in the Institute Filmmaking in Iran. So I told them, okay, I want to learn uh, like an um, academic uh, cinema course in uh, an institute. Uh, I passed uh, around one year studied in that, uh, I, I studied in that institute uh, at least one year. 
when I passed my uh, duration of the study, so one day I talked with my uh, teacher. I said, okay, I want to be in this field. And even on that time, I have it, that one mini camera, which camera it was uh, available on that time with a small cassette. I said, okay, it is my work. Uh, shall I see your, my work? When he saw, he said, you're recording like Indian film. Why you are doing like this? I said, because I love Indian movies. But that reason when I saw so many Indian films, and I would like to zoom in, zoom back, moving like this. He said, no, it is not good. Don't like that. Don't, don't do that like this. I said, okay. So anyway, when that course is uh, over, I never do anything uh, uh, in my uh, life till 2008 when I was to come to India. Uh, when I came to India, uh, before I came to India, just I love Indian, but Indian cinema, like Bollywood. Okay, just I know Bollywood. I want to see the Indian films. Uh, everything is, all of the things is happening in India is, they are, I want to meet superstar. They are very, you know, high position. Wow, I should be like this. So when I came to India, I said, oh, such a great culture, such a great uh, art architecture and so many things I can learn from India and uh, on that time I understood wow I am too much comfortable with this country and I thought uh, oh it can be my second home uh, you know right now I feeling India is my first home <laughs> I love Iran but I love uh, India more really so uh, I studied in India uh, visual effects and animation so I was very depression, depression of why I'm not in the movie uh, side. What should I do? So I, I found a few friends in Mumbai and, uh, and uh, they suggest me uh, it is one workshop. Uh, it's happening in Mumbai. If you like, you can attend that workshop. It was in Andri Est. When I went that, uh, attending that workshop, the duration workshop was four months. You know, the... I went into Mumbai, I get more confidence, more experience. Then I decide myself, okay, so it is the time to make a sound film. Then uh, the, our teacher, uh, her name was Madame Rajeshri, she said to me, uh, for final uh, class, you have to make a film. I said, okay, I will do. Then I write uh, one uh, short story, Name is Another Birthday, which is uh, released and uh, nominated in Goa Film Festival. On that time, it was very, you know, simple and like an experimental uh, fiction film. So uh, I, I wrote it, that film and I, I co-wrote it and I co-directed that film, uh, but with a uh, group, uh, it means all my uh, uh, classmates. Then I make it that film and uh, I said, oh, okay, right now I am, I know one knowledge for filmmaking in India. In that place, I meet one of uh, Iranian people who has uh, immigrated to India. His name is uh, Nader Dabestani. So I become friend to him when he, under, he you know, hold this uh, class, he didn't talk to me in Persian and he didn't tell me he's in Persian. But in the, the few days before the class become end, he said, okay, I'm half Persian, half Indian, but originally I'm Iranian. I said, oh, nice to meet you. And I'm so happy. Okay, I have this kind of friend. After that, we become two close uh, friends to each other. Whenever I'm going to Mumbai, definitely I meet him. He's very kind to me. Uh, and uh, he's, help, uh, he's always helping me too much. So uh, after uh, one year, I called him. I said, I want to make some documentary film. So uh, what is your idea? He said, uh, do you know Jalalaga? I said, uh, no, who is Jalalaga? He said, have you ever seen uh, Shole? Yes. I said, yes, of course. It's my favorite film. You know how many times I saw this film? You know how many times I cried for uh, when the uh, Amitabha Chan did in this film, in this uh, that sequence? He said, okay, the person who is gypsy man, his name is Jalalaga, he passed away also, but if you like, if you're interested to make a documentary film, I think this is a good idea. I said, okay, 
where is the Jalal Agha? He said he's passed away. I said, okay, so how can I uh, make a documentary about him? He said his mother is still alive. Uh, uh, alive. I said, oh, it's great. Where is she? Uh, he said he is, uh, she is in Pune. Then I said, okay, it's a good idea. I am in Pune, her mother in Pune. I have everything. I have my team. Few I have on that time, I have few friends. They came from Iran. They had a good uh, knowledge for cinematography and uh, for cinema also, for documentary film. Then uh, I said, okay, please fix the time for me. When I meet her, we're recording exactly on that time. Before that, I researched too much in internet about him. And, uh, I researched, okay, who is Mr. Jalal? Who is Agajan? What they do in Indian cinema? What the, 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 how much experience they have? Uh, and how many films they playing? How many roles they had? Oh, it was very interesting for me, and it's very amazing for me because nobody in Iran doesn't know them. I said, oh, they are very famous and popular in India, like Agajan. He had many Indian comedic films, and nobody doesn't know him. Why it happened? And when I talked with her mother, she talking to me in Persian, and I was, wow, impressed. Oh, she knows Persian better than me, but with the Yazdi accent. Yazdi is one of the provinces in Iran, uh, which uh, 200 or 150 years ago, people, they emigrated from the... Yaz and Iswan to India. She talked to me in Persian. I was so happy. Wow, really? You know Persian as well? She said, yes. And we talked to each other. It is the, the happening of the making Jalal Agha on that time. For Meher Baba, uh, I have a friend. She came in uh, India. She said, do you know Meher Baba? I said, no. Who is that person? She, she said, he's avatar. He said, I am human in form, uh, God human in form. He is very uh, a spiritual person. Uh, if you like, let's go to see his ashram. I said, okay, chalo. let's go to see his ashram. His ashram was in Mehrabad. Mehrabad was very interesting for me because Mehrabad is name of the Tehran uh, uh, airport in uh, Iran. So I said, okay, let's go to the Mehrabad. Where is Mehrabad? He said, she said it, it is in Ahmad Nagar. Then we went, uh, when we went to Ahmad Nagar, it was very interesting. So many Iranian stay there. So many foreigners is there, there, stay there. And the atmosphere was very, you know, it is a very different experience uh, I had when I was there. So when we came back from that uh, ashram, I'm thinking, okay, when, if he was Iranian, I have to research and make a film about him also. Right now I am in documentary field. So I researched at least three months. Then I talked with so many people what uh, kind of film I can make it. Then uh, they introduced to me, uh, you have to uh, talk with his last disciple. The not last disciple, his disciple. He, on that time, uh, Mr. Baukalchi was alive. Then uh, I fixed a time for March. 2013, 2013, I think. So uh, I fixed in the match with Mr. Uh, with his uh, uh, vice chancellor. <clears throat> then uh, I met him. When we meet him, we recording the film, and it's started to make him a her baba for uh, his uh, journey, because uh, you know it was very interesting for me. Even he was a uh, Zarostian. Uh, who came after uh, when the uh, Arab attack to Iran? So many Zarustian they immigrate to India on that time. You know, the, India is one of the biggest uh, immigrate for uh, Iranian uh, uh, people. It's happening two times, uh, three times after the revolution. Also, so many people they immigrate to India. So uh, it is happening to make a Mehbaba movie. You mentioned two names of Indian cinema. First, you said Amitabh Bachchan and uh, later on Raj Kapoor, as you said. So, do you remember which was the first film which has a lasting impact on you? What, which was the film? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. I remember that time. I was in a CP, Connaught Place in New Delhi. I was with my family, my, my uncle and my father and my mom and everyone. So, 
I saw, okay, the cover of the Qanun. The which film is released in the festival, uh, in the cinema theater. And uh, I said, oh, I want to see this film. They said, no, no, don't, don't see this film. Uh, we will go to cinema. So I said, I, I, will, I would like to see uh, the Qanun. They said, okay, it was VHS, I think, on that time. Uh, I don't know, VHS, I, do, I don't remember, but I know exactly I saw the Ghanu. Then when we went to the cinema, the film was Zanjir. Then I said, oh, I want to be Amitabha Chan. And I didn't know it is not the, that film because I was too much young. I, do, I, do, I doesn't have that much knowledge. So when I saw the Amitabha Chan, I said, wow, I, I love him. Even on that time, I listened to uh, that, uh, the disco dancer, Mitran Chakravarti film on that time. I, I think on that time become hit. Uh, my mom, she bought a few cassettes of the Indian film and we brought to uh, Iran. And when we reached to Iran, I just listening to this film. Oh, I am a disco dancer. You know, I'm feeling, okay, it's very exciting to me. I have to go over the bus dancing. So many people become around of me, you know. I was just six, seven years on that time. I'm feeling like that. I have to be like, okay, with a child, like dancing like that. And always I had a fight with my cousin. He said, I am Amitabachan. Uh, you are Mitan Chakravarti. I said, no, I'm Amitabachan. You are Mitan Chakravarti. You know, always like that. You know, uh, since that time, usually when, uh, you know, the, in Iran, uh, Hindi film after revolution is little become forbidden. But, uh, when you saw the film in cinema or it was available in India, after maybe one year, we can uh, find that uh, film because on that time was not internet. Uh, like uh, this time, everything was not this much available. So when we saw some VHS film, it is Amitabha Chan uh, acting. So, oh, it's very great. I want one copy of this. I have many copy of the Amitabha Chan film. And always I follow his film. Even when I was in India, the, I, figured I have to go to Juhu to see his place where he lived. So I've been there, but uh, I was very unlucky person. I didn't meet him. Uh, but I wish to <laughs> one day I meet him. Uh, God bless him, long life for him also. The craft of filmmaking which Iranian directors they have adopted or whom I know, mm -hmm is to narrate a very simple human story in a very human manner without mm. too many cinematic jargons and you know which which are uh, which are mostly the part of commercial cinema across the world but on the contrary the iranian directors they put the story of life in the most simple manner and even then it is it is very very impressive so what is your take about iranian films and iranian directors how do you look at them you know uh, before i when i was in india so many people asked me when i went and uh, they asked me where are you from i said okay i'm from iran and they said okay do you know majid majidi i said yes he is the one of the greatest filmmaker in iran and uh, the, he is very good eye for filmmaking. We saw so many films of him in television. In when the when we were in holiday in Tehran, at, uh, Iran television, they show us few of his film, and always we enjoying his film. Uh, so after that, I think uh, the people understood. Okay, even Mr. Uh, Kiarostami, who passed away uh, uh, two years before. And uh, last, yeah, two years, last year, not two years before. Even uh, Mr. Uh, Ashar Farhadi, uh, when I was in India, he got uh, Oscar prize and I proud, ah, he's the first Iranian who got the Oscar prize. You know, uh, when we discuss about the, the film with my friend, most of the people, they, the, you know, the, in Iran, uh, I can uh, tell you, that, you know, Iran population is 85 million population we have. And I am sure the 5 million people, they love Indian cinema. And I am sure half of that uh, population, they addicted to Indian cinema. But the problem, most of them, they don't know what is the Hindi film. 
because usually they choose the like uh, they know only Bollywood. They know about Lollywood. They know about it. Uh, you know, uh, like uh, who is the director? Who is the cinematographer? Who is the writer? Just they all. They know the superstar. Is the problem? Uh, you know, the, I think you have a the good director, uh, same as my, uh, you know, Iranian director in uh, uh, Iran, uh, like Shikhar Kapoor, Satya Jitrai, Shyam Mangal, Mayesh Mehta. These kind of people also you have in India, but they are uh, not uh, very popular out of, uh, uh, in Iran, maybe out of the world, they are popular. So in Iran, uh, after the revolution, the people thinking, okay, we have a two type of the film. Uh, we, uh, when the revolution is happened, they said, okay, we have two type of the film. The, before the revolution, the people make Parsi film or uh, film Farsi. Why they say it? Because all the film was uh, dancing, singing like that. And after the revolution, the singing and that's, dancing is become forbidden. So people thinking, okay, how we can improve our knowledge and how we can show the film and how we can uh, invite to people to see our film. So before they make it the film, they're reading too much, they improve the knowledge, they're researching. It, it is that's why uh, Mr. Majid Majidi and Mr. Kiarostami and even Mr. Asghar Fahadi, they become too much professional and popular because they going they went to the inside of the people they know how they can make it a film you know uh, even they study in that field but they become uh, lucky people you know they join to the heart of people because uh, they have to without any music they should invite people to the cinema i think the little when the, we are in the sanction and forbidden place you can improve yourself more when you have everything in your hand so you become a little bit lazy. You never, uh, you know, uh, the follow to catch uh, what you want. I think it is the reason uh, some Iranian filmmakers are professional in them. Dr. Abhay Singh, now, what is your take about uh, uh, the Iranian films and the way uh, Iranian directors, they narrate the uh, human tale, the, the story of life? <laughs> Thank you for asking this question. This is important for like also understanding of the two cinemas and for the purpose of bringing the two cinemas together, particularly not only the producers, but also the audience. Uh, I must here say that it's, it has been one of my greatest uh, fortune, good fortune, to come across uh, Mr. Raza Gulami in the initial days when I reached Tehran. I joined the center um, as the director and just within a week, uh, one of my officers told me that there's a gentleman here who comes to the embassy and uh, did you meet him? I said, uh, well, what is, what's special about him? He says he is a filmmaker and not only just a filmmaker, but he has a great interest in India and he has been in India and he has photographed in still photography also and also some movie. I said, I must meet him. So I remember very clearly that uh, one day he walked into my office and we started talking. He says, I just love India. I said, I just love in Iran. Then he said that, um, I said that I have heard that you have some films and all. He says, yes, I have made a film. I said, I would like to watch that movie because uh, I have heard so much about it. He says, what is it about? He says, it's on Jalal Agha. Because of course, with my experience in India and also being connected to like this being, you know, cinema was one of the very important part of our all, all our young age. <clears throat> I said, and he knew about Aga Jan and he knew about Shashi Kapoor and all those people who he has uh, met in connection of making the film. It was very interesting to talk with him. I said, I'd like to see the film and why have you not released it? He says, I'm perfecting it. So one thing, Iranian passion is they want to perfect their work and they take quite a um, great, uh, I think, uh, this is also one thing by which their cinema is reaching a stage of very high and near perfection, if, if not perfection fully. But the quality enhances. 
he was not willing to show the movie till it was perfected this is a wonderful this is a wonderful uh, i would say uh, idea where in bollywood people have been making movies i think maybe just a few months they would prepare a movie if if it is going to sell whether the report on it is good or bad is hardly their concern now being there of course uh, quite after maybe i just after 2 years uh, it would be surprising for you after 2 years of my spending there and knowing uh, mr raza gulami so closely and meeting him so often that i got a glimpse to see jalal agra <laughs> <laughs> twice or thrice i gave him the opportunity to screen it in the indian cultural center but he says no let me just perfect it i have to do something more to that something is missing i said what is missing now is everything is final you are not going to india he says no i want a person to speak in farsi when he was looking for a person he found a gentleman a sardar gentleman who darshan singh who's uh, who is living there for many years so he got a clip from him also so that is the i think that is their fastidious about their work they do it into a great um, very very finer points they go into those details to make their movie uh, and also particularly the editing part they are very very uh, concerned about it uh through my uh, like experience i also say because i also had i was fortunate to meet through uh, other friends and of course through mr reza gulami many of the film personalities in iran and uh, here i just refer to because we are talking about mr majidi mr majid majidi uh, it was a good meeting with him and he had some very valid points to make uh, about which i think we can have another talk but what was my sense of it was that they love india and they love that the entertainment part also that the indian movies bollywood movies are providing because very rightly said by mr raza gulami here that the limitations have taught them to make the subject and the art of their film so much focused that it comes up in excellence it invites people to the cinema so in india we have a variety of things somebody likes music somebody likes the the film actor somebody likes something the story part somebody likes the action part of it so with all this the music the, the film gets balanced and it gets the audience for one reason or the other uh, here uh, i think both of the cinema have uh, something uh, they are excelling what is very important here Uh, i would just uh, bring it uh, from my side and maybe you would appreciate that that both side we have wonderful talent where you use it we can use it in action we can use it in music we can use it in dance we can use it in cinematography we may use it in the story writing or screenplay writing any any department of the film we can use it but the talent is on both sides now according to our taste and according to our audience we can have a collaboration that would be uh, quite uh, interesting thank you thank you dr basan thank you dr ah uh, thank you dr ji thank you and uh, now over to you mr rajan what about raj kapoor you know uh, uh, the first film uh, raj kapoor uh, and i think is the only the, the film which i the, which uh, made him released in india in iran television it was bot polish that uh, vaksiman correct bot polish is vaksiman i don't know pardon i said correct the name name of the raj kapoor film bot polish bot polish bot polish yes yes yeah yeah bot polish yes yeah right so yes. is it was the one of uh, his film released in iran after revolution but uh, before revolution the one of the famous and popular indian uh, hindi film it was sangam most of the people knows him okay they know about sangam they know about rajinti mala uh, they know about uh, uh, i forget the name of uh, rajendra kumar way, uh, rajendra kumar yes most of the people they say okay my man should be like rajendra kumar gentleman and some people they said okay we are we want to be like emotional like raj kapoor 
it, it's happened before revolution. When I talk with the old people, they explain for me uh, these things. And still so many people, when I meet them, when they know I love Indian cinema, few old people, they ask me, do you know uh, that Vijin Timale still is alive? I said, yes, God bless, she's still, uh, still alive. But uh, they said, about Rajendra Kumar? I said, no, he passed away, unfortunately. Most of the people, they know Raj Kapoor passed away. But the um, old generation, not about young generation. Uh, usually they ask, do you have any movie about them? Uh, do you have any songs? Can you share with us? I said, yes, I have. So the Sangam was one of the famous and popular film before revolution. After revolution, Asir Raj Kapoor is, uh, even I think, uh, no, even Raj Kapoor visit Iran before revolution. So he is more popular. After the revolution also, I told you, the both Polish released it in, in the Iran television. So always I'm thinking, okay, I have to see the film of Raj Kapoor. Uh, even on that time, my family said, don't watch Persian uh, film, old Persian film. Those are is not good. Those are is forbidden for the kids. If you like, you are allowed to see Indian film. So I said, okay. So on that time, you know, not too much film, not much uh, available. Only Raj Kapoor film was available. So I said, okay, I can see the Raj Kapoor film. It's, it's happened since I become to addicted to Raj Kapoor and Nargis. Nargis was, uh, she has a beautiful eye and good playing. I said, wow, she's very beautiful. You know, I said, crashing. I was child. I said, oh, I love her. I want to... She has, she has to be my wife also. You know, I'm thinking like that in, when I was young. So, uh, you know, this end of the sequence of the uh, Avara, which happening uh, Shri Charsubis. I think Shri Charsubis, when they put him in the jail and the Nargis is uh, stand behind of the jail and behind of the Nargis was the father of Raj Kapoor, Prithvi, uh, Prithvi uh, Kapoor. So it was one of the emotional and one of the, my favorite sequences in, in Indian cinema. Even the, the dancing of the Nargis, uh, you know, I, because all of them, maybe Sri Charsopis, when she dancing Mera Manke Muti, that kind of that song uh, she's singing with the, the big uh, statue of the, I think, Shiva, she dancing. Uh, you know, so the, uh, since that time, I love. Raj Kapoor. Even after that, we collected, we, we received some Indian film. Oh, Miranam Joker. Oh, I would like to see that film also. So I said, oh, he had a great, a great work he has. So when I saw the uh, Shishi Kapoor, to some my cousin said, Shishi Kapoor, do you know who, uh, who is he? I said, no. She said, he is brother of Raj Kapoor. I said, really? His brother? So Anil, what about Anil Kapoor? They are brother. They said, yes, they are brother. I said, oh, so all of the couple, they are brother. They said, yes, all of the actors, they family couple, they are brother. I said, okay, it's good. You know, at that time, it doesn't have that much uh, information, that much knowledge to search who is the Shami couple, who is the Anil couple family, who is the uh, Shishi couple, Rashi couple, or Shekhar couple family also. We thought when we were young, we thought all of them, they are family together. But they are family, but in the uh, Bollywood cinema. So uh, uh, I forget your question <laughs> about Raj Kapoor. I was young. One of my friend's father invited us to uh, his house. We are sitting together. We playing with child. And suddenly he came to talk with my father. Do you know what happened? My father said, no. He said, Raj Kapoor passed away. I understood from the BBC. He said, really? He said, yes, Raj Kapoor passed away. So uh, still I remember them discussion, oh, Raj Kapoor passed away. So I, it was very sad for me. Even when I was in India, I saw RK Studio in Mumbai. But uh, unfortunately, they never allow us to go inside. Just I said, oh, is the RK logo with uh, Raj Kapoor hanging Narges. And is the logo is from that uh, film. It's the logo of the... RK Film Studio is like this. <clears throat> you know, so many films of them I saw. Uh, 
I think I can uh, talk more about him, but I, I, it is very great. Whatever I spoke about him, it's very less. You know, it's very great man, and I can't talk about him that much. What about the general scene of uh, cinema in Iran these days? You know, it depends on the people, depends on you talk with whom. Most of the young generation, I have so many friends, they know uh, Hindi as well, they singing with Indian like with, uh, with Mr. like Mr. Uh, uh, Rajit Singh, correct? Rajit Singh. Hmm. Arjit Singh. Arjit Singh. Arjit Singh. You know, Arjit Singh. I said Rajit. Arjit Singh. Mm -hmm. You know, they <clears throat> most of the people in Iran they know him. <clears throat> but I know I usually I suggest them. Uh, you can listen to Atif Aslam, you can listen to the Suno Nigam, you, you can say Anand, you can say so many singers, uh, you can listen. But the most of them, they said, when you say India, Indian in this time, when <clears throat> you the, talk about Indian cinema, you know, they say, do you know Tom Hiho? I said, oh, I know, he's very popular. He's become hits a few years before India. Most of the people... <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, they know this uh, music, Abitom Hiho, and they love with uh, this song. Maybe most of them, they, uh, you know, they saw them in that music. You know, they they had a, they they still uh, um, they still uh, life with this kind of music. Uh, right now, uh, I said. Uh, most of the people they love only Bollywood cinema. They doesn't have too much information about Indian cinema. I think Indian cinema to Bollywood cinema totally different, because uh, I love both cinema. But uh, I think most of the people in Iran just they know Bollywood cinema. People they used to go to uh, theaters. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Right now people goes to theaters. If you go into the some. Uh, you know, before <clears throat> 10 years before, we doesn't have that much cinema, cinema hall in Iran. Since last three years, the government make a combined like a complex cinema. When you're going in the one uh, cinema, you can see so many... Uh, uh, <clears throat> multi-screen. So long multi-screen, yes. Then you can choose which film you want to see. Mm. Uh, right now, Iran is very uh, professional in cinema theatre and our famous festival is Fajr Film Festival. Even some uh, director or some actors, this year's also again banned that film festival. They said maybe they are with, they have some propaganda for the film, or maybe for that reason they <clears throat> join to the that festival. It's very difficult to choose the film in Iran to release it. If you want, when you make a film, uh, it is almost one year or two years you have to waiting for you release your film. In the corona situation, I see people they go and always cinema is crowded. Maybe they, they see the alternate, but still the people love to go to cinema and uh, they are watching film. Yes, the cinema is open and most of the people. Lovely. Are so I wonder what, <laughs> what impact the youngsters they receive when they move out of uh, Iranian uh, film theaters. I mean, you know, in the date, I talk with people. You said you talk about Bruce Lee. People said before revolution uh, in the cinema theater also they, they released the some film after Bruce Lee. They said when the film become over finished, the people come out and they doing uh, the acting the Bruce Lee. They want to show themselves. Oh, I am Bruce Lee like this. Even when they saw Sangam, the most of the people they are rolling like Raj Kapoor. They are working like Raj Kapoor. They it's like the Rajendra Kumar, they're doing like that. <clears throat> in this time, uh, you know, the cinema is uh, the part of the social of the Iran. Uh, you can see all the people is like which you saw in the theater. People never react, react about the film which they saw. Uh, just they, when they come out, they discuss about the film. It, is, it was good, it was bad. This actor doing good role, this actor doing bad role. And they are talking like this. They never act reacting any 
the action of the film or doing something they different. are not going to copy it they are not going to no, copy no no they are not going to copy they are not going not like uh, before uh, revolution or like uh, uh, some india the, the people because for example when i saw the salman khan when the salman khan released the film so many people their copy of the salman khan the reaction dancing acting or even akshay kumar i think but in iran no never do that we uh, talked about the documentaries you made in india what about uh, uh, making a feature film you know uh, i when i choose the cinema i want to make future films the problem i never go in the fiction or future films uh, is the first of the money is the very important the second is knowledge when i was in india i am thinking okay I, when i come back to iran what should i do what uh, which kind of movie i can make if i want to uh, sit and find some producer some people to come and play with, uh, play for me or some uh, technical person to recording or editing for me what should i do i have to spend too much money you know at that time i thought okay i doesn't have that much knowledge what should i do when i came to iran one of my friends she invited me for vetr cinema she said come and see documentary film before that i think okay documentary like uh, maybe the animal like a uh, planet like a uh, uh, construction then i saw oh no documentary is very interesting also and it's uh, compared to the fiction or f- future film it's very comp- very cheap and uh, if you go inside of this field you can improve your knowledge more so since that time i think okay i should uh, think about documentary so when i came back from iran and i was in india i have that much time and i researched about how i can make a documentary i talked with one of my with few of my friends i talked to them get some information how should i make a documentary which kind of documentary we, we have biography documentary or uh, historical documentary monument documentary reporter documentary ex- ex- expert expert Experiment. experimental yeah. documentary yes you know i i improve my knowledge uh, like this so when it's become uh, i lit i little uh, i feeling little okay right now i am confident in this field so i started to make a documentary but about future film or fiction film right now i can make it but the problem is that you have to find producer you have to need some a uh, friend who has related to good to rich person or uh, you know <clears throat> this is the, the happen we can make a future film but hopefully i have plan to make in future future uh, make a future film sir after going back from india uh, uh, where you are engaged to or what you have been doing this year so you know the, it's so sad the corona is came otherwise when i came back from 2040 from india asila uh, i am feeling i lost something part of my body is in india and uh, india is my home you know uh, what should i do and i want to go to india i visit india 2015 i visit india 2017 and last time 2018 you know i said i have to go there and always i want to stay in india more on that time the situation of visa was very less Uh, days you uh, you can visit india only for one month on that time but right now it is much better and we can say at least six months we can stay if we got a visa so always i am feeling okay i lost part of my half of my body in india exactly you know when you are in india you said oh i miss my family i should go to iran when you are in iran i said no i am i am going to, i would like to go to india to see the Oh, I'm missing the Indian food. I'm missing the culture. I'm missing the festival. I'm missing the climate. When the rain is coming, when far the rain is coming, and you are so angry, but you miss them. You know, we feeling the. <clears throat> um, uh, we f- we said the sand of the India the addicted you. When you just you if you go to India and two months is staying in India. then you addict to the sand of the india smell of india so you missing india you know india is incredible 
Uh, so uh, since I came back from India, I've been in India. Uh, I visited India for uh, for five, for three time. You know, 2015, 17, and 18. Three time I've been there. Maybe I have to. Uh, not maybe I have planned to visit India uh, in April, end of April or May. If the uh, I don't know if the Corona situation give me a lot to visit India. I would like to visit oh, India. We wish we wish that it is over yeah. and wish to have you here. We yeah, definitely you. love to have you here. Uh, thank uh, you, dear. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. My Dishan. pleasure. My okay. pleasure, dear. And uh, I I would like to uh, ask Dr. Abhay Singh to uh, sum up our discussion or our talk. The talk, uh, of course, is so engrossing that I was listening to each and every part. And uh, because I know uh, the sentiments that the Indians hold towards the Iranians and the Iranians reciprocate and also hold the same sentiments for Indians. And they are very real, they are very genuine. The understanding, the appeal of the cinema of Iran to us is because uh, as our host has said, because we are also too much uh, the same type in our mindsets. He talked about those reactions that we have towards cinema, how we feel it's so real, all that is conveyed to us. And we participate into it without any inhibitions. The same what Mr. Raza Gulami said, that the films and all, they live into it. They, when they hear Arijit Singh singing or some other so song people, they join that. They feel that they are there. Now, this engagement, of course, is on the emotional plane, and we have to utilize that, but for which this meeting has been created by our host, is that uh, we want to bind the cinema, the cinema personalities together. Uh, of course, the recollections about Raj Kapoor, the recollections about your visits, Mr. Raza Gulami, to India, and uh, the interest and the, particularly the familiarity, not only just familiarity, but the so much insight and so much being into the Iranian cinema, as you saw, the host has been connected to the Iranian cinema for the last so many years. He talks about witnessing the Iranian movies in Varanasi so many years ago. So why, if all this is there, I think that uh, this, we must come out of our bounds and have interactions more, and for which I am again thankful to Samvad and, of course, uh, Mr. Prabha Singh for organizing this evening where we are talking together. Thank you. The points much. that has been made here, I think, uh, Professor, uh, uh, I think I, I knew a gentleman in Iran who's, who has mentioned that it is particularly the, the uh, lost cousins. They are just the people, the same people, separated by time and space somewhere. After this conversation, you can watch his documentary, Jalalagha.